Hello, my name is Ken Awondo. I am the Clinical Trials Laboratory Manager at Kenya Medical Research Institute, Welcome Trust, Kilifi, Kenya. I would like to share with you today setting up of a laboratory for clinical trials in resource poor settings, particularly with emphasis in Africa and Asia. Perhaps one may ask, how do we set up a laboratory for clinical trials in resource poor settings? Well, first question that we need to ask is why do we need a laboratory for clinical trials? In a developing world, the need for setting up a laboratory is inevitable because there are numerous infectious diseases in this part of the world. Clinical trials need to be done in areas with high incidences of diseases. Majority of annual deaths in these resource poor settings are not investigated owing to lack of proper laboratory services. Lack of laboratory contributes to waste of resources through prescription of antibiotics and antimalarials when it is not very necessary. Indiscriminate use of drugs and medicines have contributed to drug resistance in these areas and therefore we need the laboratory in resource poor uh, settings. Um, one of the, uh, the factors that needs to be when setting the laboratory is to plan for logistic planning. Logistic planning involves budget allocation, availability of space for construction, facility installation, identifying the resource requirements for the laboratory. What is uh, the other uh, requirement to set a laboratory? We need the infrastructure development. Laboratory building facilities are necessary to set up the laboratory for clinical trials. We need a source of power le for electricity for the laboratory. Communication facilities that include phone and internet are very necessary in setting up the laboratory. The laboratory standard, requi laboratory standard requires that we set uh, the, that infrastructure have adequate space for free movement by, by staff and equipment installations. Laboratory rooms need temperature and humidity control. What other factors, what other requirements do we need for setting up a laboratory in the resource poor settings? One of the fundamental requirements is the personnel. We need well-trained staff competent, skilled, experienced, and confident to carry out their task. What are the, some of the standard requirements for personnel uh, setting up? Well, one of the reason, one, one factor is to define policies regarding orientation, training, and evaluation of laboratory staff. We need to pro standard requires that we provide direct and detailed training for all staff. The standards also require that we conduct competency assessment regularly. The other requirement for setting up a, a laboratory staff uh, is personnel uh, files to document. We need this personnel files to document staff qualification, training and competency assessment. We need a personnel file to document job description we need personnel file to report and, co uh, and communication relationship. The other requirement to set up laboratory is laboratory equipment. There are various equipment that are required in the laboratory. These include microscopes, centrifuges, incubators, sample analyzers, biosafety hoods, and many more. And let's just look at some of the requirements uh, for the, the standard requirement. Sound equipment management ensures that equipment produces accurate and reliable results, that equipment performs consistently and the results is reproducible, and the standards required for the laboratory equipment includes conducting preventive maintenance daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly, the standard also requires that we perform calibration procedures. The standard requires that we perform validation procedures, set tolerance limits for equipment and temperatures, maintain records of monitored conditions that includes temperature and humidity, set corrective action plans for out of limits. 
Other requirements to set up a laboratory include uh, sample storage facilities. We need to maintain the integrity of the samples for future analysis or for shipment to other collaborating central laboratories and therefore we need uh, the storage facilities at the site. The other requirement, a very important requirement is to set up documentation procedures. Standard operating procedures are required, analytical plans, study protocols, laboratory manuals. All these are needed to document the procedures that are going to be car uh, carried out in the laboratory. Standard procedures are critical for maintaining the consistency of the test performance by ensuring that the consistency and integrity and equality of the data generated from the laboratory. Standard requirements for laboratory operations include valid written standard operations must be made available to all laboratory staff. The SOPs procedures should be documented in a manner that is appropriate to laboratory staff performing the activities. Procedures should be documented in a manner that is appropriate to laboratory staff performing the activities. Laboratory should set up the document control plan. The other requirement for setting up a laboratory is to set up quality systems for the lab. This enables the lab to detect immediate errors. It also enables laboratory to identify any adverse trend that may occur over a period of time. It also assures the accuracy and reliability of test results produced by the laboratory. The standard requirements for quality systems includes all activities in the laboratory must be supported by the documentation. Lab, ma laboratory must establish internal quality and external quality programs. Laboratory must establish corrective measures for quality failure. The other requirements for setting up laboratory is the laboratory reference values. The leverage values should be developed for the local population and in most cases reference values are developed from the healthy children and adults. Reference values are important to clinical trial study enrollment and monitoring. Interpre the interpretation of trial data from the volunteers during clinical trials requires reference values. The other requirement for setting up a laboratory is the validation of all laboratory methods and equipment. Laboratory is required to validate all the equipment and methods used for the purpose of clinical trial studies. This will enable data to be pulled and compared across the multiple sites. The validation requires standard equipment and reagents and test procedures. The other requirements to set up the laboratory in a resource poor areas include um, setting up health and safety for the laboratory. These provide safe work environment for the staff and patient and volunteers. It also prevents infectious agents that might occur as a result of handling of laboratory samples. The standard requirements for health and safety include defining the safety policies, providing personal protective equipment, providing health and safety training, providing material safety data sheets, and documenting periodic inspection of applicable safety equipment. Let us look at some of the challenges of setting up a laboratory in a resource poor settings. One, is lack of policies and regulations for the laboratory services. Policymakers always think of the laboratory last. Most laboratories are not recognized in most health delivery systems of most developing countries. This has weakened the representation of laboratory personnel in public health policy and development and implementation. The other challenge facing setting up a laboratory in resource poor settings is lack of capacity building. Most of the highly qualified laboratory staff have moved to developed countries. Poor incentives and work environment result to demotion, demotivation, sorry. Lack of continuous education, 
need to provide access to distance or online learning in collaboration with Western universities. The other challenge facing setting up a laboratory in resource poor settings is lack of financing. Most governments in resource poor countries do not allocate funds or budget for their laboratory services. There are prohibited costs associated with maintaining a laboratory. This includes the cost of equipment, cost of reagents, cost of the kits, and general running cost. It's way beyond the laboratories. The other challenge is lack of equipment and laboratory supplies. Prohibited costs associated with maintaining laboratory cost, equipment, reagents, kits, and general running cost. Lack of national quality assessment schemes is a big challenge to setting up of laboratories in resource poor uh, countries. No quality assessment schemes in the developed countries to independently assess the performance of the laboratories. There are inadequate reference laboratories in these uh, settings. And in conclusion, I would like to state clearly here that setting up a laboratory for clinical trials in a resource poor settings is a huge challenge, but yes, it can be done. Thank you for your attention.